For me, it's just about staying very relaxed and executing and hearing the gun go and running as fast as I can. <laughs> Hi, I'm Daryl Nita, Team GB sprinter, a Dumble Olympic bronze medalist. I started sprinting at the age of eight years old. I was scouted in primary school at sports day and I've been doing it ever since. I'm 26 years old now. And in the last four years, I've gotten onto the senior circuit and I'm competing for medals with Team GB. The pandemic was very significant for me because before that time, I was maybe not so professional as I am now. And it was such a difficult time for us all. And it gave me a lot of time to really reflect and get in tune with who I am as an athlete. And in that time, I just really decided that I was gonna come out of the pandemic and aim for the Olympic final. So in 2021, I came out with a huge bang, made the Olympic final when my career has been on the up ever since. So I would say the pandemic was a tricky time, but for me, a pretty, significant time because my career just changed significantly. For me, I really like to just stay as cool and relaxed as I can throughout the day. On a race day, for me, it's just about executing what I've been practicing for weeks and months with my coach. And those final moments before getting into the blocks, I just clear my head and just focus on just executing my perfect race. I've really learned how to control my nerves and get into the right frame of mind to be able to face the best in the world. The Tokyo Olympics was amazing. It was my second Olympic Games and I came home with a medal. I also made the Olympic final, which was a huge achievement. But it was a bit strange there being no crowds and we were in masks and we had to do COVID tests every morning. So that was a bit strange. I'm really excited for the 2024 Olympics in Paris because it's close to home. My family can come, they can get the Eurostar. It's just down the road. So I'm gonna get so much support this year. And just to see my family sitting in the stands cheering me on, it's going to feel amazing and I'm really excited. A typical day for me would be getting up around 7.30 in the morning, taking my dog Mel and the Chihuahua out for a walk. We do a 10 minutes around the block so he can stretch his little legs and then coming back in, having breakfast, head into the track. I'll do a track session, take about an hour's rest and then head into the gym, which is where I will do some weights and after that, have get my protein in and make sure I've recovered and got all my nutrients back in before heading home. I chose to work with Val because for me, it's so important to look after my body. I go day in, day out, pounding my body and pushing it to its limits. And it's really important for me to refuel myself and be in the best nutritional top shape to face the rest of the world. And it's amazing to be part of such a good company who are doing great things in our sport and keeping athletes fit and healthy. And yeah, that's why I chose to work with Val. So my next ambitions for the following year would be win more Diamond Leagues. I won my first ever Diamond League two weeks ago in Stockholm, which was an amazing achievement for me. I have the World Championships coming up this year in Budapest this summer. I want to go there and aim to get on that podium and then leading into Paris 2024 at the Olympic Games, more podiums, bring back some shiny stuff home <laughs> for the country. But yes, I'm really excited for the next year and it's gonna be special. My vow is to be my authentic self turn up to training every single day, put my best efforts in, go out there, be confident and just do my best and do the country proud, do my parents proud, do my whole team proud and everybody that supports me and just be Daronita. <laughs> That's my vow. What's your vow?